Now tags aren't really that complicated. So if you remember when we look back at writing our playbook and we, and we were writing our roles and we implemented our tasks and those tasks use modules like the user module for example, well with tags you can tag a task with various with a, with a name you can give those sections a name and once you've got those names in place they're like a label okay you can use those labels those tags to skip certain parts of your code so if you have a playbook that manages your users for you and it might add users it might remove some old users and then it might add ssh keys and then it might add permissions you can add a tag to each one of those steps and you can skip the permission step. But word tags, so that's common, people do skip over tags often, but where they become much more powerful is actually skipping to a specific task. So you jump over lots of things just to do a very specific thing. And this becomes very powerful when you use them with roles because you might have a playbook that introduces eight, nine, 29 roles and it might do a big huge run of your entire network but then you might want to rerun it and you might only want to do a wordpress update task in the wordpress role so what you would do then is you would just run your you run your playbook as normal but you would provide very specific tags of the things that you want ansible to do and it will skip everything else and only run the tasks that have those tags attached to them Okay, so it's very, very powerful. And they're a great way of speeding up your development when you're experimenting with Ansible, when you're learning to write playbooks, etc. And you're, say you're 15 tasks into a playbook and you want to repeat the playbook, but you're having to run the other previous 10 tasks. But what you actually only want to do is run the last five because they're the ones you're interested in. You can use tags. You can put tags on there. You can jump straight to those tags. And then when you're done, you just take the tags off if they're not needed long term. And of course, they're used for increasing the execution speed of your code as well. So if you have tags in place, you can run CI jobs. And again, if you have a playbook with 15 roles in it, okay, as long as you've used tags, you can just repeatedly run that playbook in lots of different CI pipelines, but you can use tags so that each pipeline only runs a specific part of the playbook.